Hello friends, uh, this is Dr. R.B. Kushwaha, Assistant Professor in the Indian Arbitrary Clinical Complex, MBSC at PH, and this course to know how it's done. Welcome to my YouTube channel, and if you are new to my channel, so kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for the further notification. So today uh, we have another case of the traumatic pericarditis. I have already uploaded uh, two cases of the traumatic pericarditis uh, in which uh, I drained the uh, pericardial fluid. So this uh, 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 had a fever uh, three months back. So on giving the antipyretic fever subside, but uh, after uh, that uh, there was a edema of the, this biscuit region. So you could see this is the biscuit edema. This is uh, severe biscuit edema and uh, has also the jugular uh, pulsation. Uh, feed and water intake is gradually decreasing day by day and the condition is also deteriorating day by day. So we took the radiography but uh, in radiograph uh, nothing is visible means I mean uh, no foreign body was seen. So then we plan for the ultrasonography. So now you could see here we prepared this area for the ultrasonography. Ultrasonography of the thoracic area, or if you are suspecting for the traumatic pericarditis, so you should save the six feet to four in the nostril space. So, uh, you see, uh, I applied the, this uh, jelly as a acoustic uh, medium coupling gel. So, this one is the fifth in the nostril space. So, this one is the 6.5 megahertz uh, transducer. So, now you could see, so there is a this area by uh, lignocain uh, solution and at the same time we also give the uh, this standing sedation by the mixture of the xylazine, butorphenol and ketamine in the ratio of 1 is to 2 is to 3. So we give 1.5 ml of that mixture volume wise and then uh, we insert the spinal needle from here and then dry it. We have injected 5 ml uh, 2 percent lignocain solution here and now you could see this is the a spinal needle so we insert from the here so this is the fifth intercostal space on the right side so we insert slowly and slowly gently so now you could see uh, it has gone in the and now you see the flow If you not give the sedation and the local anesthesia here, so definitely there will be a lot of the pain. So just to reduce the pain, you should at least, if animal is docile, then it's okay. Otherwise, sometimes you have to give the sedation. If you don't have the beta-phenol ketamine, even you give the xylazine also. And you could see here the how the is flow. And you see the color. You just show on the ground. As you can see, see the uh, white is flat. There is a pretty fine smell is also coming. So now I show this one with the ultrasonography also. Now you could see the needle here. So this is the needle which is seen as a hyperechoic line. So next procedure uh, we will let the, this needle inside till the complete drainage and then after that we will go for the chromatomy to retrieve the foreign body. Definitely uh, there must be some foreign body. In one case uh, on radiograph foreign body was not visible but when we performed the chromatomy so foreign body was encapsulated in the reticular wall and so by being the nick incision so we retrieve that body. So it is not like that if you don't find the 
foreign body over the uh, on the radiograph. So you declare that this is negative for the chromatic radii that is R T R P. So and in this case the ferroscopy, ferroscopy uh, found positive. So it means definitely a foreign body uh, definitely would be in the yes. Uh, now we take the sample for the. means to identify the which bacteria and then after that we try to go for the antibiotic sensitivity test so that we could give the appropriate antibiotic. Till uh, the result of the antibiotic sensitivity test comes, so I by seeing the color, so I go with the, this token uh, and go by to certain and double strand five gram uh, OD and. Also give the because in this case there is a toxemia, so fluxin uh, meglumine is the better option. So we will give the fluxin meglumine also administer the fluid. Now you could see the fluid age is still coming, the pericardial fluid age is still coming, and if you see down, so this is around one liter is in the top. And even before you can see putting the top already half in half liter fluid also you can see spread on the ground. So overall till now about 1.5 liter already drained and still this is coming the force. So hopefully in this case uh, ultrasonography also revealed a lot of fluid around the uh, heart. So let's see how much is coming. So now we could see uh, after drainage of this much fluid uh, the level of the fluid on ultrasonography also decreased. Initially it was from here to here, now yes. it is decreased. So if you have the facility of the ultrasonography, then you can uh, judge or you can uh, see that uh, how much fluid is still is present in the pericardial side. Otherwise, it is better to drain completely till they can see last drop of the pericardial fluid. So now we have drained the pericardial fluid completely and even you can see the an ultrasonography. So this is the right uh, ventricle. Now it is uh, rotating and relaxing in a better way and the fluid column almost you can say gone. So that's so that uh, there is a complete drainage of the pericardial fluid. So next uh, we will perform the runotomy and uh, if you find the uh, foreign body so definitely uh, we remove the foreign body and then we put on the antibiotic and analgesic for a few days. And hopefully animal recover, but it's wait and watch. Let go, guys. Thank you very much for watching the video and if, if you like the video so kindly share with your friends and uh, subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed yet.